Hello, and welcome back to Newbie and Know-It-All. I'm Rai. I'm Kay. And today we're going to be talking about some nerdy stuff. What's our particular topic? The mobile game Cookie Run Kingdom. <laughs> well, we started with Full Metal Alchemist. Let's take another hard left turn. <laughs> yeah. So Kay is going to be doing most of the talking this week, since I have no idea about anything about this game, except for that it's cookies. And I am obsessed with it. A little too much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You talk about it a lot. Anyway, your to- it's your topic. Let's get started. Okay. So, the game opens with a prologue, and it's like the Dark Flower War, which is a really ominous way of saying that Flowers everybody in... almost killed each other. <laughs> Flower is in F-L-O-U-R? Yes. It's cookies. Everything has to do with cookies. Of course it does. <laughs> Everybody's name is in cookies. So The when... world is called Earth Bread. So when you say everyone almost killed each other, do you mean all the main characters as in like all the playable characters or like as in it's a like a or... everything's kind of post apocalyptic. Okay, so this was like last generation or the generation before that nearly destroyed the world. Kind of. It was a war against Dark Enchantress Cookie. <laughs> you, I wish y'all could see Rai's face. He is so just like, why the hell is that a car- cookie's okay. name? Okay, what flavor is she? <laughs> well, there's pomegranate. Um, She's burnt a bit. Uh, Mainly, that's the best I got is she's called Dark Enchantress Cookie. All right, okay. We- some of them are named flavors. Some of them are just weird titles. Okay. So it starts with the Dark Flower War, which is like almost wipes out the planet. What happens next? The people start to rebuild. The and you mean the cookies start the to cookies rebuild. start to rebuild, <laughs> and we meet our main character, Ginger Brave. Ginger Brave. Wonder what type of cookie they are. His main defining feature, other than just being a regular gingerbread cookie, is that his little buttons are like skull shaped. <laughs> can we can we back it up a bit? Why is everyone cookies? Because well, there is some uh confusion about the lore for how the cookies were made. Alright, great. Who made the cookies? Witches the witches and the wizards. The witches and wizards. It's separate groups. Okay. Now there is confusion on whether there was more than one group of witches at some point. Okay. This is, we're getting into some deep lore that's not really, that we're, we're learning more about <laughs> as the game continues. So this is an actively evolving storyline. Yes. Okay, so if you're listening to this in a few years, just know that we are dealing with what we know now. Yes. Okay. So... Witches and wizards, not colloquial or interchangeable. Yes. Made living cookies. Yes. Why? <laughs> well, in one version, they didn't. In one group of the witches, it looks like it was they just were making cookies to eat, and they came alive. But another one in the more recent update, it looks like. Some cookies were created by a higher being witch. A higher being witch. Like God. Are they witches? Or, are they witches or not? <laughs> well, the question isn't are they witches? The question is, is this one witch part of the same group as the other witches or not? Okay, so they We ma- don't know. <laughs> okay, so they made cookies that came alive. Next course of action, the cookies go to war? <laughs> <laughs> no, they populate Earth bread, and then okay. We're not sure this, how cookie reproduction works. Th- I wasn't gonna ask that. <laughs> uh, I don't need to know how. Co- I don't need to know how cookie reproduction works. I don't think anyone out there wants to know how cookie reproduction works. And what I was gonna ask is: this a world within a world? So, like, do we know anything about the bigger, quote unquote, human world besides that there's witches and wizards, or, or are we just? Solely focused on "quote unquote" Earth bread. That well, is, that is. There's some stuff in Earth bread that seems to be connected to like the world the witches live in. Do we have a name for that? No. Okay, so, 
So we're, but also, our only focus is Earthbred. <laughs> like there is a plot, po- a major plot point with the witches, with them, with one of the uh, characters in the prologue. But it's. <laughs> Do we have a reason or or justification as to how Earth, a uh, planet of bread, can exist in a kitchen? <sighs> they ex- they said something about like the witches made like some dough and then they ate it and the remnants of it became earth bread or something. So they, they made a lot of dough. <laughs> like yes. a world's amount of dough. <laughs> and then they when they finished eating the dough, what they were too full to eat, they were like, yeah, let's make that a planet. No, it just, <laughs> it's a planet just became a planet. It's like the weirdest or it's like a, a creation story that's really vague. <laughs> Okay, so Ginger Brave is our main character a generation or two after a a, a, a world-ending war. This, this is evidently, we find out this later, much later. This is not the first war! Goody, did the kitchen burn down? No, because there's... <laughs> It's it it's it's weird. It's like there's a kitchen, but also not. So, so I've seen the like the your your an, the animation in the game for like getting new cookies, and that's like an oven. So there is some kind of kitchen element going there on. There is, but it's like a portal. The oven's a portal. It's kind of like it's a portal with a witch baking a cookie, and then oh, there it goes. So this might all just be metaphysical. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love his confusion now, guys. Metaphysical cookie war. All right. Ginger Brave. What about him? Uh, he escapes the witch's oven. There's only one witch at this point baking cookies that can live. Um, so, wait, wait. So, I thought the oven was a portal. If he escaped the witch's oven, does that mean he escaped into the real world or what? He escapes the oven and goes into Earthbread. That's the best I got. So was Earthbread decimated or not? I was under the impression he was born on Earthbread, as after the after society. Well, he kind of is. Well, not, so, <laughs> so he is born from the oven that he accidentally escapes to Earthbread from. He purposely escapes. He doesn't want to get eaten by the witch. I thought they were done eating cookies. I thought they stopped eating cookies after they realized they were alive. They haven't realized they're alive at all. Then what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's focus on the cookies story so I don't have an aneurysm. So, Ginger Brave escapes to Earthbred. Without uh, seconds after coming into existence, yes. with the knowledge that he is a cookie and he's going to be eaten, and that somehow there's a place to escape to. He's mainly just trying to escape the witch. And he just happens to slip through reality and land in Earthbread. I'm not sure how the witch's kitchen connects to Earthbread. I just know it. There is somehow. Okay, so he gets to Earthbread. Yes. What happens? Well, he runs into Strawberry Cookie and Wizard Cookie. <laughs> okay, so we have gingerbread, strawberry, and what does wizard taste like? <laughs> no, his, his, whole, his whole thing is he has a big old wizard hat. No, I get, I get that he has the aesthetics of a wizard, but we have two flavors of cookie and then wizard. Ginger brave is a flavor? Gingerbread is a f- type of cookie. There's multiple gingers in this. Are they an extended family? Not really. Okay, well. But, this, but we, there's Ginger Bright, there's Ginger Dozer. Brian wants to kill me. So, okay, so. Wizard Cookie and Strawberry Cookie. I'm just going to stop worrying about semantics of what they taste like and flavors and just roll with it as best I can. Yes, that's the best idea. I love how we just took a hard turn from Full Metal Alchemist, which has some basis in actual science and re- and real religious and person and humanitarian themes and we've just taken a hard left into cookies <laughs> <laughs> but 
as they're running along, they see a cake hound with a crown on its head. Okay. okay. It's a piece of cake that barks and runs around like a dog. Okay. What does the crown have to do with anything? It's from a lost kingdom. That this dog is just so happened to be where, found and was wearing. Yes. N- no relation to the actual kingdom other than that he found the crown. Yes. He's not like a royal in disguise. Right? No, he's not a royal in disguise just, at all. The it, running it, gag is they never catch the, the dog with the crown. How is that? Okay. It's a running gag. Okay, so the dog with the crown gets away. They meet a uh, custard cream cookie the third. Katie, I hope you, I hope you realize <laughs> that we're not. If I skipped over how many characters there are in Full Metal Alchemist, well, you're gonna have to skip over some of the cookies and get <laughs> get to the plot. I'm get, he he's like well we're gonna he wants to be a king so because he and he wants to found his own kingdom and so they're like okay we'll find our found our own society. Okay, so with chili pepper cookie. Where did chili pepper cookie come from? She tries to rob them. What? So, <laughs> so this newborn stumbles into the metaphysical pocket dimension of Earth bread <laughs> and meets immediately two two companions, Strawberry Cookie, who I take it is like the token female character that in an early RPG game. Uh, no, she's okay. the. Everybody has their classes. She's the only defense class you get first straight off. Oh, well, good for them breaking the mold. And a caster that early. And then they they meet a dog with a crown. They try to get the crown. And then completely unrelated, they meet someone who wants to found a kingdom. And it's like, hey, I want the crown too. And they all agree and then team up with someone who just tried to rob them. Yes, she just tried to rob them. Okay, so... She's okay. the ambush. T- she's on the ambush. Arc. She's a rogue. Yeah, she's a rogue. Okay. So <laughs> the plan is now let's make a kingdom with a newborn, a defense class, a caster, a uh, healer. Wo- That's what Custard is? Yes, Custard's a healer. So he's a cleric. And then a rogue. Yes. Someone who literally just tried to steal from us. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going by Shonen rules. All right. <laughs> This this game is from Korea. Uh, good for them. Good for them. Okay. I'm glad it's popular then. All right. Let's move along. While they're, they decide because Custard is from a descendant from the long lost vanilla kingdom. Was there a chocolate kingdom too? Yes. Was there a strawberry kingdom? No. Okay. There's a berry kingdom. Okay. And a cheese kingdom. Cheese. Who puts cheese on cookies? <laughs> There's sweet and savory cookies in this. Why? If 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 you eat cheese with cookies, why don't you just get some Ritz crackers? I guarantee you it's going to be more satisfying. <laughs> anyway. You missed the, oh, you glossed over that chili pepper cookie. No, it's I, chili pepper K, cookie. Okay, I have, I'm <laughs> trying to grasp the plot we are 13 minutes in, and we are arguing semantics of cookie toppings. Where is this going? As they're trying to find remnants of the vanilla kingdom, they see this very pretty cookie. She just kind of appears. Her name is White Lily Cookie. Again. She just She's very nice, but... A little while later, she just vanishes again. She looks like a ghost, okay? Okay. She's a freaking ghost, guys. Is she a ghost? Basically, yes. Is she a ghost of the Fallen Kingdom? Not of that Fallen Kingdom, Of a no. different Fallen Kingdom? Uh, okay, we're going to have to backtrack because you're getting confused. No, I'm, I'm, just no. Try- I'm just trying to figure out where this is going. <laughs> In the prologue, you white pure vanilla cookie, dark cacao cookie, hollyberry cookie, Golden Cheese Cookie and White Lily Cookie, the main kingdom leaders. Okay. Fight Dark Enchantress Cookie and basically it's mutual destruction. Okay. Okay. So if you were paying attention, you're like, oh, hey, that's that one. Okay. Uh Uh-oh. So I take it Dark Enchantress Cookie wasn't as mutually destroyed as we believe or were led to believe. Yes. Okay. 
follow-up question. Are there enough pedestrian cookies to make a kingdom? Or yeah, are there's we... There's enough cookies to make a kingdom. I was... You do not want me to list all the cookies. I don't. I'm just asking if there was a big enough population base besides the... main. Besides the... There are 119 cookies. That is not enough for a society, but okay. But they're cookies. Right? Are there... Pe- are there... <clears throat> there's no... There's sugar gnomes. And there's... So there is there are civilians. Yes. Okay, that was my main question. You are were th- asking about cookies, so I gave you cookies. The name is called Cookie Run Kingdom. I assumed that everyone was a cookie. There's a fruit toucan. What does that have to do with anything? What? Is- Everything is living food things. Five cookies are making a kingdom. They see someone that's supposed to be dead. They go, don't know that. Go from there. Okay. So, <laughs> as they're going on their way to the rem- what was supposed to be the remnants of the Vanilla Kingdom, uh-huh. they encounter Ghost Cookie several times. Uh-huh. White Lily Cookie. White Lily Cookie. Okay. It's very pretty. It's a cookie. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, as they're going, they get an idea that something spooky is happening. Because they run into minions of Dark Enchantress. Cookie? Yes. Okay. Uh, licorice cookie, pomegranate cookie, dark choco cookie. Okay, that's a bitter cookie, but keep going. Red velvet cookie. Okay. And uh, poison mushroom cookie. Poison mushroom cookie. Okay. Poison mushroom cookie is a is baby, and he knows it. Like an alchemist class, right? Or something. He's a bomber class. Bom- yes. Yeah. Okay. I remember that much from stuff I've seen. Anyway, so they they meet. They team- gradually meet all these. They folks. they slowly meet Team Rocket. <laughs> they are Team Rocket. <laughs> okay. So, and so they slowly put together that Dark Enchant. They're trying to what resurrect Dark and Dark. Yes. Okay. Dark Enchantress. Pomegranate cookie. cookie has tried to get several of the sugar swans. Feathers. Yes, I just threw the sugar swat. She, they're only in it for like the first part of it. Is it a MacGuffin? It, no, it's a like, a, it's a minor deity. Okay. That just flies through the sky. Okay. What? And its feathers can resurrect the yes. dead. Yes. The the crumbled cookies. Yes. Okay. And that is exactly what if you crumble, you are dead. Okay. I just guessed. I I don't want any comments saying pre watching or pre pre playing. I don't. Anyway, he doesn't know enough about this to know it. Clearly, crap. Um. <laughs> so they figure out that the Dark Enchantress is trying to return. So now they're trying to figure out how to stop her. Okay, so this has become an adventuring party alongside the fact of they're growing a slow. I assume they're slowly growing a kingdom. Yes, they're slowly growing a community. Okay, and I gather that as the game goes on, you collect. New cookies that have different abilities, better for I assume turn-based combat or auto battling of the game. It's auto battling. Okay. It's, it's not turn-based. All right. So it's like it's like an AFK game where you just set them to go and they go. Well, you have to actually. It's not really AFK. Well, you don't have to choose every move they make, but you have to choose when they go into battle. There's no such thing as, oh, you're just gonna battle for thirty minutes. That's not okay. how it works. All right. So. Uh, it's a gotcha game. All right. What's the what's the yeah? So random random draws. What is the next major plot point the that next mo- major that point? moves the story along? So they can't find the Vanilla Kingdom. They're still looking for that. Well, they go to where it's supposed to be, and it's just an empty cavern. Okay, so someone's moved it somehow. It it's basically. Well, I can. I'm gonna spoil this now, just because if we try to go chronologically with this, you're gonna get confused. It has been lifted up into the sky. Yeah, I thought it might be something like that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, someone either teleported it or literally moved it, so, okay. Well, trying to find more for it, they go to the Forgotten Academy. Where is that located? Uh, if it's forgotten, how do people know where it is? Well, it's more like there's it's haunted by interdimensional ghosts and our ice cream. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Because of something that happened. Okay. It was a cookie wizard experimenting and accidentally create a pseudo portal to the ice cream plane or something. 
kind of basically they killed everyone, they became ghosts. Well, I don't know how By accident. cookies become ice cream, but okay. Cookies bleed strawberry jam. Why strawberry jam? Because it's red? Yes, but also, this is this is a plot point for a stupid Agatha Christie, like, murder on the Orient Express thing. Oh, that's a plot point that's coming that, up? That, that, it's, it's a side adventure. Okay. But, uh, things that are not cookies bleed cherry jam. So you have to taste it to know the difference? You have to smell it to know the difference. <laughs> You can't smell the difference between cherry and strawberry, as far as I'm aware. So they just did that. They just said smell so that you don't have to, so they don't have to imply that you're tasting someone else's blood. Yes. Anyway. So, okay. So they go to the Forgotten Academy, Academy, which is located in the ruins of what kingdom? It's not even ruins of its own kingdom. It's just a school that just got decimated, blasted apart. Okay. It was two wizards that were doing this. Two wizard cookies that were doing this. Were they fighting? No. Okay. They were trying to create the perfect cookie. Are they related at all to our wizard cookie? No. So two completely different wizard cookies. They were not called wizard cookies. You just called them wizard cookies. I'm about to elaborate because they were learning magic. Okay. It was White Lily of Pure Vanilla. Okay. And... So they go there to find out what happened to the Vanilla Kingdom. Why do they need to find the Vanilla Kingdom? Just so they have a, place, a base of operations? Or are they looking for some MacGuffin to stop Dark Enchantress Queen? Well, at first they're looking for it just because they're trying to figure out any if, what happened to it, what's going on, because it's post-apocalyptic. Right. Um, then, after the, what happens in the Academy, they find the Moonstone. And they're like, Like oh, a literal Moonstone. Yeah, basically White Lily has been kind of ghosting along with everybody. Okay, so it's like she's out, she's not she's, quote, she's not exactly dead, she's just mostly dead. Yes. Um she is uh has lost her memory. And so as the story continues, she gains more of it back and about this time she's realized she did something terrible with this with the with the the academy thing or something else entirely. Oh. Okay. Then, as they're looking at the moonstone, it looks like White Lily Cookie is trapped in the moonstone as she's been astral projecting. Okay, so they get her out of it somehow, I assume. And you get another uber-powerful party member. Uh, no. They break it open to get her out, and it's Dark Enchantress Cookie! Oh! <laughs> that was trapped in the moonstone. Okay. Not it White Lily. Illusion. Yes, it was an illusion. Okay. So, yes, that actually was White Lily's ghost. Okay, so she is sort sort of dead. Yeah, she is sort of dead. Okay, so now you've just done Promogramet's cookie's job, job for, for her, her, and then you're trying to stop her. You're, now you're just trying to stop Dark Enchantress Cookie. Okay. So you find the Vanilla Kingdom. In the sky. Well, you find the Raisin Cookie camp below it with Healer Cookie. Okay, so you find a camp that is below it that doesn't seem to have any connection to the Vanilla Kingdom. No, they, these are refugees. Okay, from where the the Berry Kingdom? Uh, they're, potentially there's a lot of like, moving raisins. around. Yeah, there's a lot of moving around. Okay. Um, Healer Cookie looks suspiciously like. Pure vanilla with a different hat, a bandage around his eyes, and just in like sackcloth. Okay. okay. Does he, is he secretly pure, pure vanilla in disguise or something? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Did it doesn't do any of our characters put this together or is no? This... It's just kind of a reveal. Okay, it's just for the audience. Got it. Yeah. To be it's fair, it's one. It's one of those like Dobby's totally not a Todoroki. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally not the uh, the only suspiciously absent Todoroki sibling. Anyway. But, <laughs> so they go to stop Dark Enchantress Cookie. We, we don't actually stop her so much as thwart her. Okay. So Pure Vanilla Cookie reveals himself as Pure Vanilla Cookie and has to confront the fact that basically this is a side plot that becomes relevant to the main plot. There's this thing called the Tower of Sweet Chaos. In Gary. 
Okay. It is somewhat visceral, viscerally disturbing. How so? Viscerally, it's a cookie game. How can it be viscerally disturbing? Uh, because um, it's a cake tower. Okay. With non-living cookies. Okay, so statues. all over it. So like. And some of them like impaled and stuff. Okay, so it's it's a tower of corpses. Yes. Okay. That's how it's visually dis- vis- viscerally disturbing. It's a tower of corpses. Okay. Um, I play too much D&D for that to be viscerally disturbing. It is when you're just sitting there and it's like, oh, happy fun king of the cookies. Oh, mass murder. Okay. <laughs> is th- th- I take it this isn't a new structure? No, it- this is left over by the Night of the Witches. Okay, so. When- this is one group of witches that we thought might have created living cookies, but now we are not certain. Is there any cake characters? Or- yes. Okay. Do they have to do? I assume they have to do with this tower of sweet chaos. Yes. Basically, as you climb it, you basically find out how dark Enchantress Cookie can be. Does it have to do with the cake? It that that is a minor subpoint. There is a bit of a racism subpoint. Okay. Between cookies and cake. I, this is the first I'm hearing of cake, so I <laughs> imagine they're the minority. Yes. Okay. Red velvet cookie, which is Red velvet cake mixed with a cookie yep. is like quit being racist towards cakes. Okay. <laughs> and decides with Dark Enchantress Cookie because Dark Enchantress Cookie does not care if you're a cookie or a cake as long as you certainly. screw the witches. Okay. Why do they hate the witches? Because Dark Enchantress Cookie is act is half of White Lily Cookie. Like, White n- Lily like half cookie, half now or half original? Half original. Okay. Basically, White Lily Cookie wanted to ask, is curious about everything. Okay. And her, the, every, all the ancient cookies that founded kingdoms have, like, this soul jam that has a light that speaks to them. Hers is the light of freedom. Okay. So she's like, I'm gonna, I want to know what, she's super curious, I want to know why cookies were created, and okay. if they were, why they were created, why are we so fragile? Okay. She goes to the Night of the Witches to find this out, and discovers that cookies are made to be eaten. Okay. When she's trying to rescue cookies that are not alive, she doesn't know that. Right, she just sees she cookies. She falls into the, uh, what is it, the uh, ultimate dough? So she she makes a copy of herself by accident. She falls into it, the witches bake the cookie in the dough, which basically means she's been baked twice. So there's two versions of her. There is, and there part of this is explained later. She had a moon, part of a moonstone in her pocket that essentially transported the empty husk of her dough, the the white lily dough, to a far off place, while half of her became dark enchantress cookie. So what ha- what is that husk important? The husk is important. Okay. They call it a husk in game, by the way, which is disturbing. Um, so pretty much, it's a sh- it's the original cookie. Who fell into dough, got wrapped in dough and rebaked, used magic to send that rebaked shell somewhere else, and w- how did they split they, from that point? Basically, the light of freedom was not going to support a uh, dark enchantress cookie because, in her attempts to rebel against the witches, uh-huh. which is weird because the witches don't actually know they exist, decides to infringe on everybody else's freedom, therefore violating that. So you have so half of her, the reason, which they have the same memories, the same background, but you have metaphysical one, magic caused them to split. Yes. Much. Okay. So the ghost we've been seeing is the other half. Okay, so she's not really dead; she's fractured. She's fractured. Yes. Okay. But the ghost we've been seeing is, in fact, White Lily Cookie. It's just the half of her that is regretful of everything. The one that's tied to the light of freedom uh-huh. while her body is all the way in the a different continent in the fairy kingdom. Yes, there's fairies in this now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ryan wants to kill me. No, I'm just trying to figure out why. Anyway, so Dark Enchantress Cookie wants to overthrow the witches because they want to believe they want to be more than just things that are going to be eaten. Yes. 
and the other cookies tried to stop Dark Enchanter's cookie because she was willing to go to any length to do that. Yes. Even though they also don't want to be eaten, though some most of them don't know that's the reason cookies were made. Most of them are do, do not know that. There are a grand total of maybe two cookies other than Dark Enchantress cookie and White Lily's and Gingerbrave's. And that Ginger is, Brave is one of them. Ginger Brave is one. Which is why they're the main character. The other is technically pure vanilla, but he's in denial about it. Right, he, because he lost it. Yep. Yeah, uh, th- also, there's heavily implied like romantic connection there between Dark L- Enchantress and Pure Vanilla. Uh, between Lily and okay. Yeah. So basically, original like original. Yeah, original. and there's some dramatic tension there because she resents him for knowing for, the truth and still trying to stop her. Stop her, and sh- he's. Conflicted, conflicted because he, he knows, loves her, but also does, can't this ag- is not okay. Can't agree with how she's doing it. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so I'm tracking she, that. Track- basically, uh, when they fought originally, uh, she decimated his kingdom. Okay. In so, the sky, so it's so it was flying. So it was no one moved it. It was always in the sky. Yes. It, well, they moved it originally, and it went. Whoa, why ascended. did they move it? Was there a reason for that? Ascension nonsense, yeah. Ba- ba- okay. Uh, let's put it this way. The character that looks most like a cleric is pure vanilla cookie. Okay. He looks like a priest. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> so, I'm tracking so far what was they thwart Dark Enchantress, whatever her plan was, and go to the cave tower. Ch- the tower of d- sweet chaos. Now that's where we find that out. Then, in when they confront her, her vanilla confronts that this used to be your white lily cookie. Uh-huh. They argue and disagree and fight. Um, they she runs off to go get stronger because that's how this works. And they're like, we're gonna have to recruit the other ancient heroes, so we're gonna have to I, find the Hollyberry Kingdom. I thought they were dead. They're missing. Oh, so they're because. Not- Essentially, it's implied because we found pure vanilla, that, the others are in a similar boat. Okay, so they, so as far as we know, the originals. <laughs> I'm not doing it on. Can't purpose. the originals can't be quote unquote crumbled? They just, they just are MIA right. Now. Yeah, they're MIA. So we go to the Hollyberry Kingdom, where they're trying to get. The Soul Jam. The Soul Jam's super powerful. Dark Enchantress wants to use the power of all the combined Soul Jams okay, to so the, beat the crap out of the witches. All right, so the original five cookies mm-hmm. each have a different Soul Jam. Did yes. Did he explain how, what, the, what the Soul Jam is? I assume it's, it's like... super powerful magic. Uh, okay, I assume that's kind of what made the cookies come to life and that kind No, of... it's not. They just have it. Well, that's weird. Anyway... And we find out later that the Soul Gem is actually refined Soul Gem. There used to be more of it. Okay. So this current Soul Gem is just the very refined, stringed version of what used to be more plentiful. Of uh, virtues. It used to be like general virtues. Bad guys corrupted it. Mm -hmm. And then there... I'm going to have to explain beasties. Um, Just this story... So they so they are after this MacGuffin that all the original five have, and the Dark Enchantress wants it as well, so that she when wants she wants all of it, so that when she, she can use it to finally overthrow the witches. Yes. So, but they're going to find the uh, the others to try and recruit them to oppose her. Yes. All right. So they go and find the Hollyberry Kingdom. They go and find it. Princess Cookie has been away for a while, so much so that they are starting to replace her. Uh, is Princess Cookie the the holder of the Soul Jam? No, just someone else. Okay, she's just a descendant of Hollyberry. We know the cookies can reproduce. We just don't know how it works. I don't care to know. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. So I assume Princess Cookie's another ally or party yes. member about to be made. All right. Um. So you meet you you meet her. You get your stuff. Where you, was she anyway? If she's been gone for a while, she's just been adventuring because she's. Bored. Chaotic, yeah. Okay, so she's a ga- she's a gremlin. She's a bit of a gremlin, yes. Okay. She meets Tiger Lily Cookie. This is heavily implied to be her long lost twin sister. 
Okay. She does not know this. Does Tiger Lily know this? No, only their mom knows this jungleberry. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> they bring it up twice. That's why I mentioned it. Okay. But currently, the Hollyberry Kingdom doesn't have Queen Hollyberry. They have King something else. It was. This is your topic. <laughs> uh, I don't remember his name because he's not even as important as Queen uh jungleberry okay so jungleberry does more of the job than right, he does so denethor is we're getting him out of we're it. not even he's not even as competent as denethor okay that's saying something denethor was competent right he's, he's just present <laughs> all right so but um because For... they've had a problem with a dragon not no no cookie flare on top of it. Oh, just... no, he becomes a cookie later, but it's we a fi- plot point later. No, we find out he's a cookie, or he, he just... can turn into a cookie. Is he at least pastry-themed in his dragon he form? He is a Pattaya dragon, like dragon fruit cookie. Oh. Basically, he's dragon foot fruit. <laughs> does, like, does he just look like a regular dragon, or does he have any food theming? He looks like a greenish, a reddish-greenish dragon that has a mane that is spotted like dragon fruit. He's clearly inspired by dragon fruit. Okay, as long as as long there's a difference between being just a straight up dragon and being in a world where everything is cookies and food, and, and then being a straight up dragon. <laughs> I'm just making sure that for some reason there wasn't a regular ass dragon. There wasn't. Okay. They're all food themed. Okay, so the, do they recruit Dragonberry Cookie as well? Dragon- no, that happens later. Okay, so he's a recurring antagonist for now. Yeah, he's more of an annoyance. Uh, All right. We find Hollyberry Cookie has been wandering around in disguise. It's just like Done shield with it. cookie. Done with it all. Yeah, and her flight is the light of passion. What was what was pure vanilla? Truth. Truth. Okay, so pure vanilla is truth. Lily is freedom, freedom. and Hollyberry is passion. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to tell the others now, or no, wait till we'll we get, get to them? We'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. So. Where so Lily is trying to overthrow. It's not even Lily. A part of Lily, whatever. It's dark. You might as well just call her Dark Enchantress. It's, she doesn't it, have the light of freedom. It's wordy. Uh, so and then Vanilla's hiding in denial, and Holly's hiding because they're just done with it all. They're, they're she just feels over, weak, and so she's like, they're you know, over it. She's yeah, she's lost her passion. Okay. There we go. All right. A lot so, of it has to do with finding yourself. Okay. And so, but she shows up to help them, and then. They and Jungleberry Cookie recognizes her as like here's the shield that has her soul gem on it. And it's like revealed she's Hollyberry Cookie. She clearly looks like Hollyberry Cookie. Mm-hmm. She even even had an alias like Sweet Pinkberry. Okay. Cookie instead is dumb. Um. <laughs> okay. She um. Do they get her help? They get her help, and then it's like okay, we gotta find Dark Cacao. So like chocolate. N- is cacao technically chocolate? It is bitter, but more bitter than chocolate. Okay. Yes. So dark cacao forgives. He's an edge lord. Yeah, I was gonna say that's kind of like that's kind of like dark coded almost, like that. Uh, that's that's anti hero, so, pseudo villain sounding co- coded. Yeah, I think his is a light of resolution. No, well, of course it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm resolute. Yes. <laughs> we have truth. Freedom, <laughs> passion, resolution. <laughs> uh, so you are filled to... with determination. Essentially, yes. Okay, so uh, we go to go fight him. We find that he is has a. Is he still on his throne? Yes, oh, actually. He's the only one so far who's still ruling his kingdom. Is the Vanilla Kingdom still standing? By the way, uh, like, are there is there still a quote unquote society there? Or is there's there a just, castle. It's just an it's just an abandoned flying ca- kingdom. Yes, um, the remnants of it formed a republic that we'll run into later. Okay, so they're so they've a that so, have um problems that have some um interesting takes on things. Uh, I see American colonization. Charming. All right. <laughs> so, uh, um, man, if man, if only this game were politically coded, you'd think it'd be telling you so, something. Anyway, so they go to Dark Cacao, who's so far the only main cookie still on. He's thr- paranoid. Okay. <laughs> uh, he is paranoid. His kingdom is on lockdown. Okay. What and is- they are very Japanese coded. Okay. What does that have to do with resolution? Um. Basically, there's a coup. There was a coup. 
or there's someone who's while you're there trying to go talk to him. Is there Afogado cookie stages a coup? Is it a good coup or a bad coup? It's a bad coup. It's a bad coup. So Afogado cookie's a bad guy. Bad guy. He's just mainly wants to be in charge and have nice things. It doesn't actually understand that protecting the kingdom is kind of important. Okay. Because they're right by the licorice sea that has like little crafty and abominations coming out of it. Charming. That they have to fight off. This is a really expansive cookie book. <laughs> now you know why I wanted to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I can see why you chose it. It's a deep cut. All right. Um so also I forgot to mention this. With the there because the other the Team Rocket's trying to get the Soul Jam from Holly Bear, they were in the princess contest. Oh, so they they were having a contest because Princess Cookie was gone. So they were trying to take take her place while in disguise. Full Jesse. It's not even good disguise. But like, like it's Jesse and James style disguise. Yes, it's Choco Warehound. That's a cake guy, and is, he's giant and is wearing a purple princess dress. It starts getting obsessed with princess things the longer he's doing this. Well, that's good. Well, good for him. Good for him. He's very obsessed with it and very keen on his role. Licorice and. Uh, pomegranate? No, pomegranate's not there for some reason. It's just licorice and poison mushroom. Okay. This poison mushroom is so just a baby. He is just like, whatever, I don't care, I love y'all. Okay, so <laughs> so uh, that I take it they fail. They because fail. Because Holly Berry gets her shield back. A, Holly Berry gets her shield back because the dragon starts acting up. And B, because Princess Cookie comes back. Oh, Princess Cookie decides to compete in the thing as well to earn back her place. And does she? Technically, yes. Of course, because she's helped by the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is very shown in anime. <laughs> so, uh, so they, uh, is that, so I take it that when you go to Dark Choco Kingdom, you're also having to compete against the Koo guys and, and, the, and the Team Rocket. Team guys. Rocket realizes Koo guys there is like, hey, they start trying to back him. Do you want to team up? Yeah, they, they, because got, He's short sighted, so of he's course. He's short sighted. He doesn't actually want the power of the soul gem. He just wants to be king. Yeah. Um, so. Which would be really funny because he could basically just come to our kingdom and be king and just fight with Custard Cookie. That's it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. no, I'm going to overthrow the current king to take over his kingdom. Okay, whatever. Uh, he fails. Uh, I take. I figured. He, well, he he attempts his coup. He actually kind of succeeds. Gets his butt handed to him by the licorice sea, and runs off into the night. So pretty much, it's it's a so, it's, it's a sort of Damocles situation. Yeah, and then where I take it, dark uh, cacao did, wasn't even really trying in the fight and was just like, yeah, try it, see what happens. Well, he didn't even know. That basically, he's distracted by Team Rocket. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> he doesn't even know there's a coup. Exactly. He was distracted, so this guy took over and was like, "No, I don't want to do this anymore." So, so uh, do they get cacao? Do they get cacao's help? Eventually, first, uh, they actually do succeed in cor- Team Rocket succeeds in corrupting his soul gem, so he becomes a monster for a bit, and you have to kick his butt. So there's and then there's you- Fire Emblem stuff too with corruption into monsters. A bit, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, also, Dark Choco Cookie is Dark Cacao's son. He got kicked out for something. Do we uh, know what? Something. Okay. That's, <laughs> that, okay. that has to do with a cursed sword. He rejects it, and basically he leaves Team Rocket at this point, after we save his dad. Okay, well, that's good Good for him. Does, does he rebuild his familial connection? We have no idea. He just kind of he just, angst. And he's, he just he's, angsts off into the horizon. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's like, I need to find myself. I need to I need to go rediscover who I am. So on and so forth. Yeah, essentially, yeah. And we, eventually you persuade Dark Cacao right, we, to help. That's when we actually talk to Dark Cacao. And he's like, cool, I'll help out. So yeah, there's sure. a council. And there was like, well, we, where are the other two? So, uh, Pure Vanilla has to tell, I don't know where Golden Cheese is. But... White Lily is Dark and Tetra's cookie. <laughs> and that what? <laughs> and is Holly Berry there for that too? Yeah! So ho- so Holly Berry and Dark Cacao are now in the know. Uh yeah, and then a representative from the Cream Republic shows up and is like, "Is Cream the cheese thing?" No. Okay, so I'm thinking is it's, the, it's, the former it's, Vanilla. Yes. Okay. And they go there and they're like, "Hey, we can make something with the soldier and to power up our soldiers." 
They have almost a civil war. The Cream Republic? Yes. Okay. Because some people don't think it's ethical to be using the Soul Jam for that, or what? Some people want to use it for other things. Such as? Colonization? No. Taking over the world, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Enchantress Cookie is like, hey, thanks for gathering up the freaking Soul Jam, losers. And tries to take it. Gets her butt kicked again. It's like, I'm going to go get stronger and <laughs> Leaves. I must go. <laughs> this happens a lot. <laughs> is she? Are we sure she's the big bad? <laughs> At this point, we are highly suspecting that she is not. Okay. Um, then we go. Okay. Then it's like, we got to recruit more people. So we're like, we're going to get Moonlight Cookie. In the city of wizards. Here's where the wizards come in. Is this connected to the Lost Academy? The Forgotten Academy at all? No. Okay. So there's a majocracy. Great. Cool. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, so they go there and they're dead. Oh, they're all gone. Long, long gone extinct. So, okay, so why, what did they know before they left? Uh, I don't know. So, the, so oh, we're going to go get help from the mage. We're going to get help from Moonlight Cookie. Okay. But if in the city of wizards, I thought everyone that's was running. It? That is just clockwork, abandoned clockwork, okay, steampunk. Uh, so <laughs> Moonlight Cookie's the only one left in the whole society. Uh, Moonlight Cookie is the. Well, there's certain cookies left, like there's a uh, Milky Way Cookie that is just the train conductor tube. <laughs> uh, there is uh, well stained glass cookie left. Don't know what happened to her. Okay, uh, so uh, the librarian's still there, and then. The conflict is Stardust Cookie, who's basically fraternal twins with Moonlight Cookie, and has like come to wreck the wizard's shit because they abandoned him. Only to find the wizards are all dead. dead. And so he's like, I'm going to destroy their city. And Moonlight Cookie's like, can you not? Yeah. This, <laughs> I live here. The city still works, It's the, even the, if the people are gone. But The wizards were much more involved with their cookies. Like, they purposely brought them to life. Okay. Stuff. Um, oh, wi- okay. I was I was imagining a society of wizard cookies. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that I forgot that the witches and wizards were still in play. So the the literal wizards were trying to make their cookies. Per- they sentient. were making like perfect cookies on purpose. And they're all dead now. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the si- the kingdom is p- still populated with a with clockwork droids and but the the people who made but the metaphysical things. okay you remember tears of the kingdom yes it's like that the zone are gone yes okay the constructs are still there still doing their job just making just clarifying okay so <laughs> yeah why do they need the help of moonlight cookie to help beat up because they're gonna do an all-out offensive against dark enchantress because cookie. they don't know where the cheese cookie is we find an archaeologist cookie, and then we find that, oh, here's where the Golden Kingdom used to be. It's gone now. Basically, we find out that it got annihilated in the Dark Cloud War. Okay. And Golden Cheese Cookie did survive, but her light is the light of abundance, by the way. So, without abundance. She, no, she's, she's okay. Yeah. But she basically is like, no, my kingdom, and basically uses the this is where we get the full power of how powerful Soul Jam is. Okay, this she is... makes a digital city. Okay, so that is her kingdom. She, she basically recreates... Rebuild, recreates her kingdom out of just the power of her Soul Jam. Mm. It is insane. They're all still dead, but this year. Gold... Oh, now they're just mummified. Okay, so, so the... she's trying to save their dough, and this was a way to preserve them. Okay, um, so it it it's touching, but fuck. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And by the way, here a reason one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this topic is Golden Cheese Cookie. Because the main thing is her kingdom, greed is a compliment. Because greed abundance. is a compliment. It's how good how what is your greed for and does your greed damage others? Right. Okay. If your greed damages others, you're gonna get your butt kicked to get your greed in line. Alright. She is greedy for adoration from people. Okay. So she she gets offered food at one point in the digital kingdom, and she's like, oh, I only need a little bit. Give the rest to my subjects. Right. Type of thing. She's not greedy for things. She wants She's to... greedy for people. Okay. And, so... Like, she wants friends so, and kingdoms. And after, all that so stuff. how do we get to from Moonlight Cookie to there? 
is it a big saga? Yes. It takes way too long. It's episodic. Yes. It takes it takes much longer than it should. Yes. Okay. So there's even a, like a side quest with mermaids. Do we get do we get dragon fruit cookie in that time? Yes. Okay. They we recruit him against, <laughs> and we get snapdragon cookie. Another dragon cookie. <laughs> but it's snapdragon, so that tells you what it is. It's a flower. Yes. Okay. So if. Do we eventually get the aid of Golden Cheese Cookie? Yes. Okay, so now... And they're working on trying to restore her kingdom properly. Instead of just putting it through the motions. Basically, she made a pocket dimension. Yeah. So <laughs> So now all of the Soul Jam holders are working together except for Dark Enchantress Cookie, even though she doesn't have the Soul Jam of Freedom or what... It, so... We have gathered up our forces, and we're going to leave the continent of Crispia to go to Beasties. Different continent. Different food. Uh, yeast. Yeast. One of the, component, the components of... So we're going to meet bread people. No. Beasties is super chaotic. It's components of... This is where we get into the... Is there a higher cookie god that okay. is like a witch? Okay. Because... They, they basically... So I take it... They go to Beasties to figure out what Dark Enchantress Cookie they figure out is doing, and they go and figure out that she's trying to resurrect even more ancient cookies that are more ancient than the ancients. How does she know about them? If the ancient... Probably because she's got White Lily's memory, and White Lily went here at some uh, point. Because White Lily was so curious, of course she turned over every stone. Um, She... uh, And... She found out the deep lore of the world, essentially. Okay. And uh, basically, these were, originally the soul gems were virtues, or like uh, knowledge. Okay. And uh, well, this is absolute power. It corrupts these cookies, and so they become like evil. Okay. So, so they, we have. So they make a second deceit. batch. So they make a def different different. So they take batch. the soul gem, they trap those cookies, they take the soul, the witch takes the soul gem and refines it and so makes we get the light of truth Makes a second batch versus of cookies. deceit. Makes a second batch of cookies. Yes. Okay. So pretty much, so we're, now we're going to wake up the elder gods. Yes. Okay. Um, while there, they find a shard of the light of freedom. But so a fra- so is that like a shard of the original? Yes. Or? Okay, so. It's a shard of. This is where the, the light of freedom. So this is where the husk got set. Yes, somewhere. we encounter the Fey Kingdom, the fairies, and mm-hmm. they spell it correctly. Are there are they related to cookies at all? Yes, they are cookies with wings. Okay, and Metallica bed. There, it's the Silver Kingdom. Okay, with the silver tree. Um, right, so I, I'm rewinding a bit. I take it the all out offensive against Dark Enchantress Cookie didn't go super well. They then? haven't done it yet. They were oh. scouting. Oh, so they so they were just so they were just gathering. They went to scout before the offensive found out she was gone and followed her to the other continent. Yes. Okay. And is that around where the story is right now? Yes. Okay. We are actually getting caught up. Once they get, they follow the lights of freedom fragments to the fairy kingdom. Elder fairy cookie is like, look over there. The husk is in a, a glass coffin. Oh, we're going. Like, we're, we're going, going full, full fairy, fairy tale. tale. Okay. <laughs> and like, there's that moment where you're just like, "Oh, look, there's oh, wow. your loved one. Oh, she's right there." Okay. <laughs> and Vanilla like, Cookie, you gonna do something about that? <laughs> he's having a moment of. <laughs> and well, also, what's even funnier is when they find the more shards, they find also fragments of her memories of her time there. She gets proposed to by Elder Fairy Cookie with the memories. And uh, <laughs> how does Vanilla Cookie take that? Uh, we don't know. Uh, okay. It's just kind of. Huh. Interesting. Also. Moving on. But they're like, the silver tree is, the seal White Lily put on it is withering. We need to revive her. They're like, okay, how do we do that? How do we do that? They're like, okay, okay we're going to so take what, life powder so and we're going to. Hold on, hold on. So do the dark. The silver tree. Is some magical MacGuffin that White, it's a seal. Li- that White Lily made to protect the fairy kingdom from the chaos of the BC land? This, basically, the silver tree was a, planted to seal the, the beast cookies. Okay. They're called beasts because they're just like that. Chaos. They're just that bad. 
they're they're just they're like, evil. It's ass. it's dubious food. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um. So, from so how do they how do they where do they go from there? So they collect all the shards of the light of freedom to restore the light of freedom soul dam, which restores. But half of White Lily Cookie. Basically, cookie White Lily Cookie is now half a cookie because her other half is, is Dark Enchantress. Cookie. And basically, to have a full life, Dark Lily, the Dark Enchantress Cookie is now half a cookie. So now they're they're gonna have to put down one of the the other the shard to bring Get back the, the hole. hole. And the hole kind of is like I kind of wish I died when I when I first fell in that. I really, uh, yeah. I kind of wish I died. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. <laughs> She's depresso expresso. Okay. And well, they also Elder Fairy Cookie kind of sacrifices himself to bring her back with the life powder. Yes. Is that how they get the life powder? Infuse it with a life. Well, no, they have life powder as an ingredient already, but it's the ritual requires him to do that. Oh. He doesn't fully die because she's only half a cookie at this point, but it weakens enough that he does die later. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> he weakens his immune system. Yes. Okay. Also, the seal breaks and Shadow Milk Cookie gets out. Shadow Milk Cookie? Is that one of the originals? Yes. Okay. All those cookies. Shadow Milk Cookie? Deceit. Okay. Okay. He's a jester. Are we caught up now? Uh, Are Almost. We... All right. We find out a bit more, like just recently, they added an update where uh, we find out that Dark Enchantress Cookie is using her knowledge from being from White Lily of researching how cookies are made to try to make her... new bodies for the Beast Cookies. Okay, so make them keep their powerful nature, but make, put them in stronger to, bodies. Yes, yeah, to resurrect them. That yep. aren't as tattered. Uh, yes. Okay. And she wants to steal their soul gem to destroy the witches, which is always her plan. That's always the plan. Destroy now, the witches. She also Death to the witches! No. Yes, that is her whole plan. Yeah, of course it is. My Also, with, she created a cookie by herself there. Oh. Her name is Matcha Cookie. Matcha Cookie. Is a, a lot like an evil sorceress as well. Okay. She's missing an ingredient. We don't know what it is, but she she's a she's a schemer. They didn't steep her well enough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I figured out what her role why dark is it? cookie made her. She can control tea leaves. The tea like tea tea bowls, tea seeds. Uh -huh. Like make them move. Okay. So basically I'm thinking the reason she is made is for Dark Enchantress Cookie to control the Beast Cookies using Matcha Cookie. Do the, all the Beast Cookies have, like, tea in them? Essentially, that's the plan. Uh, that's what I think the plan was. Uh, that's, we, that's getting into speculation Yeah, we're getting into though. speculation territory. Yeah. I actually explained all of it. Wow, we actually got through the whole thing? Yes. Okay, so pretty much. I love White Lily Cookie. She's so pretty. Yeah, but, and it's nice. But she's also... Espresso depresso. <laughs> you said that backwards. <laughs> that was my uh, that was my intention. Yeah. So that so okay it, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, and she's now the queen of the fairy kingdom. White Lily. Yes. Because she has half of the elder fairy. Yeah, cookie. he gave her his power when okay. he passed. Okay, so she she now has her own kingdom because she didn't have that before. So now yes. we have so we now we have five full kingdoms excluding Dark Enchantress Cookie. Yes. Okay. Which is how many there were to begin with. This feels like it's getting close to a climax. Though, how many elder cookies are left to be awakened besides dark mil shadow milk cookie? Four others. Okay, so it's in happening in fives. Yeah. How many uh, is she close to reviving another one, or are those? Go They're or still working on that. Okay, so all right. But <laughs> yeah, all the we know the names. It's like eternal sugar, silent salt, burning spice, and. Mystic flower. Flour, sugar, spice, milk, milk and, and yeast. yeast. It's the ingredients to make cookies. Oh. So they're not even technically cookies. They're just They like... are, but they're made to They're they're, the... they're, they're titans to the gods. They're the say. infinity stones. Well, it's more <laughs> like that's the soul jam. The <laughs> the ancient cookies the five that we care about are gods. Are the gods, and, and then that was are the, the titans. titans. And now, Dark Enchantress Cookie's trying to make the giants. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's trying to resurrect the titans. Basically, Olympus would be that way. All right. <laughs> well, 
Uh, that will cover it for this episode of Newbie and Know It All. If you stayed with us till the end, thank you so much. We appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you'll enjoy our next segment, which is going to be over the Netflix original reboot of a classic series, Shira and the Princesses of Power. So, Ooh. if you're all right with a guy talking about that, tune in next time. And until then, peace. Bye.